Hey guys, it's me Maya. I'm back today with another video. Today I'm going to show you this awesome trick that I love to use and I actually use it daily. So this is basically like a substitute for the text expander Chrome extension, but you actually use some JavaScript to insert it into your Roam, actually to insert it into your Roam slash JS page. This is a little bit more complicated than the Roam CSS page. So I'm just gonna show you how to install it and then of course how I use it. Let's get started. To start, you're just going to open or create your Roam slash JavaScript page. So I have it right here. Um, I'm going to open it and the first thing you have to do is create a JavaScript node. I think that is what it's called. So to do that, you just have to um, have two curly brackets and then two square brackets and then Roam slash JavaScript like this. Now here, this is what's going to appear. You just have to click on yes, I know what I'm doing because if you're watching this video, you know what you're doing. So now I'm going to enter the bullet right here and then I'm going to press enter and here you're going to have a code block like this and then switch that to JavaScript there. Now the next thing you have to do is actually go and get the code. Um, I actually learned about this feature in the Rome, uh, Rome Research Newsletter and it's actually this guy who created it, Victor Tabori. Um, you can read this and check out this thread but um, I'm just going to go to the code directly which is actually right here at the end. I'm going to put uh, the, the li this link in the description box below. So this is um, this is it. Uh, you just have to go on raw so it's easier to copy. The first, what you have to copy is actually, here it says to copy the whole thing, but we already inserted this node so you don't have to copy it anymore. You're just going to copy, you're just going to start copying where the slash is, like this. There. And you're not going to include those three little thingies. So copy, and then you're going to paste it in here. Okay, there. Now that you have it, um, you're just going to go back to your Rome, uh, to your daily notes because everything is installed. Now I'm going to show you how you guys can use this. So, first of all, you have to create a page. So, to do that, uh, a special page actually. So, um, you have to write template slash something. So, what's going to be after the slash is basically going to be the shortcut to uh, the text that is going to be pasted. So, right now, I'm just going to write book and I'm going to uh, use this as an example. So right here I'm going to write for example the title of the book, then the author of the book, then I'm going to write uh, the main character, then um, um, the summary. And here I'm also going to insert a word count like this. Now uh, this I'm going to make it a heading to check to test if it works and this is going to be the last one, like this. And I'm also going to add highlight. So main highlights highlights of books. There. And this I'm actually going to highlight it, like this. Now, let's try it out. I'm going to go back to my daily notes. And right now, um, I'm actually reading 1984, so reading 1984 okay and here this is where I'm going to paste what is in this page so to paste it you just have to do a colon then um, write book and then another colon like this and there you have it now this is you can see that all the headings um, uh, worked also the highlights and also the word count so now even if I write anything here okay you can see that it worked now I'm also going to show you my personal uh, my personal template for my whole day. So um, I'm just going to write day like this, and you can see that um, it works. Even the horizontal lines work; they all work. Even the emojis, everything. So yeah, that's it for my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe.